Hello, my name is Carl Surrey and this is a video tutorial for two Facebook groups fans of Serif Software and the Affinity Designer and Photo group. This tutorial for Affinity Photo is for beginners and it's just looking at the levels adjustment. Um, so I'm going to start with this image which is one I took of some beach huts where I live and it's a little bit washed out and there's not a lot of contrast in the image. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do, you don't have to do this, but I'm going to duplicate this layer twice. I'm just going to hide the top layer for a minute. And this middle one, I'm just going to rename it Auto. So I know the difference between the two versions that I'm going to have a look attempt at trying. So in Affinity Photo there is already an an automatic levels adjustment. But I will get to that in a minute. Now along the top here you have it normally starts off with on the colour tab, but if you start on the histogram tab you get the histogram for this particular image. Now what the histogram shows you is where all the colours that are in the image uh, all the pixels are situated um, the left hand side of the histogram is where all the blacks are and the right hand side is where all the white pixels are now, as you can see from the histogram from my image here there's no pixels really in the that are pure white and there are a few that are just creeping into being pure black which is probably some, some of these beach huts roofs but it's not very evenly um, spread out and most of the colors are veering towards the darker end of the range and not so many in the lighter whiter end of the color range so this is what levels it is trying to adjust so let's first look at the automatic version if you come up to filters, colors, and then you have auto levels. So I'll click on that. And as you can see, that histogram has now changed. We now have quite a few more pixels coming down to the white end of the color range and slightly more coming to the black end of the um, histogram and it's slightly more better spaced out with the other mid-tones. So this is what it looks like now. If I just turn this off, that's what it started out at. It's a, a very slight subtle difference. Hopefully you can see the difference, but it just makes it a bit much more contrasty image. So that is the automatic version that you can do within Affinity Photo. It will work better on some images than others. I don't think it's particularly done a great job on my one. Um, but it might work perfectly okay for your version, uh, your pictures. So let me hide this one. And I will come to this top layer that I made. And I will make that the visible and I will make it the active layer. In fact, I will rename this and just call it manual so I'm going to manually alter the levels of this layer so as you can see the histogram has gone back to what it was originally no whites a little bit on the black area so we now need to open the levels adjustment now you can do this a number of ways you can come up to um, these layers and you've got new layer adjustments and you can do levels adjustment you can press control and L and I believe on the Mac it's command and L or you can come to the adjustments tab and select levels from there or if you want if you want to stay with the layers visible this little black half white half black circle here click on that and then you can select levels from there so I'm going to put this in the middle in a minute. I'll move it away in, in a second. So 
you've got the options here and again you have a histogram which is is pretty similar to what we've got here now this histogram won't alter but this one will as you make alterations so which is why I'm going to leave this one visible so you can see the alterations I'm making here you can see the effect it is having on the histogram up there so I will move this back over here so it's nearer to this histogram so you can see them together now some of the options you have here you have you can alter it in red green blue CMYK you can even alter it in black and white if you want it to make it into a black and white image you could then alter it that way but I'm going to go back to the RGB now I'll come to this masters one in a minute but basically if you move these black and white sliders you will move I hope you can see this there's a white line that's going down here and another one down here and if I move one of the black or the white it will move that white line inwards so I'm going to start with the black and if I nudge this over so this white line is now just starting to touch where the start of these pixels are what you are making is these pixels are being a lot closer to being pure black so if I now move the white slider so this white line is just touching these pixels here you are now making those pixels nearer to pure white and as you can see that histogram has changed quite a bit just by moving those two sliders now the gamma slider at the bottom this changes um, sort of the it's called the midtones which is sort of this area in the histogram and you can move it to the right to make the midtones a bit darker or move it to the left to make those midtones lighter so you don't necessarily need a, a vast range because if you go too far it's just going to make it either pure white or very very dark so it's just making it a slight subtle change so hopefully it I will leave that there and what we'll, and then if we compare I turn that one and that one off that is how we started and that is how it looks Let me just turn it off again and that was the auto one so I think my manual version is slightly better than the auto version what I'm going to do now I'm just going to delete that a second that layer and I'm going to re-add it just to show you something else so we have this back up here and we have the same histogram that we started with and something I want to talk about is something is not I don't fully understand, I'm not going to s sit here and say that I know everything about it um, but it's something called clipping which means that if I understand it correctly if you go, if you bring this over too far, the black over too far to the right or the white too far to the left you start to lose detail in those areas if you, if you make this too black, into the, these pixels too black you're going to start losing some of the details like you might start losing these roof tiles for example um, or whatever they are. I think they're tiles now you can sort of check up on this by when you alter these sliders if you hold down the alt key and I believe on a Mac that is the command key I'm, I must admit I don't know I've never used a Mac but I think it's the command key so I'll hold down the ALT key and I will move this slider and as you can see the 
colours it's starting to show some coloured areas now these are the areas that you're going to start losing some detail on so it's a sort of compromise between getting the sort of contrast that you want and losing some detail so I will let go of the command uh, alt key if you do the same with the white hold down the alt key bring this over as you can see uh, I'm just starting to affect some of those areas up there so you can sort of check on the, the clipping just by holding down the alt key when you move these sliders now I'm not 100% so I don't think it has any effect with the gamma slider so much let me hold down the alt key and move that no it's not really having any effect or sh clipping effects anyway when making alterations and holding down the alt key so let me just right I'll do that there and this time what I'll do is I will merge this in so that is now part of that layer and if I open up the levels adjustment again as you can see that new levels adjustment this static histogram is now pretty much the same as the moving histogram that is up there so if I did make more alterations that histogram will up there will be showing the effect different effect so why I've done this is to we're now going to have a look at this masters drop down menu now master means it's looking at all the colors the whole image sort of thing but you can just alter the reds greens blues so if I go on to the reds and then my particular image there's not a vast amount of red in here there's a pink in this beach hut here and some sort of orange in the chimney stack so it probably won't have too vast an effect um, but you just take if I go this way you sort of, you're taking a lot of the red out of the black Im Im uh, pixels and this side you're adding the red back in to the white pixel so you can tinker around and alter the, the amount of red in an image that way or you can tinker with the greens similar sort of idea and then I'll just have a little tinker with the blue go and I'll just put it back on master for now. I don't really know what alpha does um, again this is something I don't know too much about so I'm not going to sort of try and guess what it does I've got no histogram up here and nothing seems to make any difference so I will not go into that too much so again let me just close that down a second so if I turn that one and that one off that was the start image and that is where I am now just by using the levels adjustment and no other adjustment whatsoever we just open this again now you do also have the ability to change the opacity of the effects that you've made so you can sort of tone down some of the effects that you've made you do also have the ability to change the blend mode um, to get a different effect um, I would imagine 9 times out of 10 you will never change the blend mode of an adjustment I mean, you might change the blend mode of a layer but not necessarily adjustment but you do have that option there and the last adjustment which I've I will openly admit I really do not understand that much is this cog here if you click on that 
it opens up the blending options. Now again you've got the master and you can change it from red, green or blue and you can move these around add points and do all sorts of weird and wacky things to these lines which as I've said previously I really don't fully understand what it's doing so it's not something I've ever really gone into too much um, this is probably a more advanced tutorial but I just wanted to show you that that option is there once you learn a bit more about editing so what I'll do is I'll finish this off now just by quickly merging that into this manual layer and then I'll just reopen uh, make visible this auto layer and I'll turn that one off so that was the auto levels adjustment and that is my manual levels adjustment which I'm hoping you can see is a much colorful much more punchier and more contrasty image from the original so just by using one adjustment only the levels adjustment I've made my picture much more contrasty colorful and punchy so thank you for watching and goodbye